I have just been given to understand that the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, has taken cognizance of my speech yesterday during my campaign trail in South Goa constituency, in which he, like the Chief Minister of Goa, has twisted and turned certain portions of my speech and misinterpreted. And today he has made a mention of that during his speech in Chhattisgarh. I want to tell the Pradhan Mantri that what about all the other issues that we have been asking the BJP, all the issues that you have promised the people of Goa, be it unemployment, be it coal hub, be it the three linear projects by which you are turning Goa into a coal hub for the benefit of your crony capitalist friends. I also want to ask him that Niti Ayog recently released a report where it declared Goa as having the highest unemployment percentage. He should speak on that. He has to also speak on inflation. He has to speak on defections in Goa. Eight MLAs defected from Congress and went into the BJP. That was murder of the constitution. Let the Pradhan Mantri not teach us about constitution. He has murdered the constitution. What about the claim by one of his tallest leaders and a cabinet minister in Delhi, Mr. Hegde, who recently, as mentioned in the newspapers, said that if they get a majority, they will amend the constitution. He has to make a statement on that. He has to make a statement on the law and order in Goa. He has to make a statement on Madai. Our Riva Madai. He is the man who approved the DPR on 28th December 2022, diverting our river Madai to another state. He has to make a statement on the law and order. He has to speak about gold smuggling. One of his cabinet ministers in Goa is involved in gold smuggling. We have filed a complaint with the DRI. Why is the Pradhan Mandri quiet? He should understand that gold smuggling is crippling the economy. It is parallel economy. He has to make a statement on that. I want to ask the Pradhan Mantri in this South Goa constituency why he had to import a candidate from another constituency and that candidate is an industrialist. Is it because you have special love for crony capitalist friends? Let the Pradhan Mantri come clean on this. All these issues I am ready for an open debate with the Pradhan Mantri when he comes to Goa. Pradhan Mantri can choose the date, time and place. I will be there. If need be, I will play the video of my speech which I made yesterday, which the Pradhan Mantri is conveniently trying to twist and turn. He can keep interpreters. He can keep an army of his advisors. I will split on the opposite side. Prime Minister and his army on the other side. I also want to ask the Pradhan Mantri you are challenging a soldier who has served for 26 years in the Indian Navy. When I entered the Indian Navy, I took oath on the very constitution that you are trying to change, amend, which your minister has claimed. If you have love for the country, you claim to be having 18 crore members of the Bharatiya Janata Party. There is a severe shortage, official shortage in the Indian Army, in the armed forces. Why don't you encourage your karyakartas to join the armed forces that will show whether you are patriotic or non-patriotic. It's an open challenge to my Pradhan Mantri.